Jiggy Jaguar Radio Broadcast. We're live coast to coast, border to border on iHeartRadio. Hey, and I will get that recording back started. Thanks for joining us here on our big, big program. So I was looking at the, um, at the, uh, we run an ad for the Talking Jesus doll. Hey, look, somebody from Los Angeles is calling me. Good afternoon. This is James. Hey, James is James Love. I need the name of your show. It is the Jiggy Jaguar Show. J I G G Y J G U A R Show. J A G G Y J A G U A R. Show. Yes, indeed. You got it, brother. Got it. Thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. Have a wonderful day. Okay, you are listening to what I just told that guy. And uh, we are going to go to John Moody, who is going to join us here in a few moments. Uh, He is going to join us here in just a few seconds. We're going to call him on the telephone. On the telephone. Oh, Los Angeles calling us again. What's up, my man? What's up? (laughs) No, you're good, baby. What, 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 What do you got for me today? What do you got? We are Central Eastern Pacific, wherever you want to be. We are there. I've got her scheduled at 1230 Central, which is 130 Eastern. Okay, so we're on Pacific. You are Pacific. I believe that would be 1130 Pacific. Okay. Well, let 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 me do this. Let's let's do the math. I'm not Asian or good with math, so let's. Uh, okay, here. So, uh, let's do this. So I've got her scheduled at 12:30 Central. Um. Uh, so I believe yes, that's 11:30 Pacific. So. Yep. Okay. All right. Copy that. Thank you. No problem, brother. Is that all? Or, or we got more questions, man? That's it. That's it. That's, That's awesome. It. That's awesome. I'll talk to her Sunday, man. I'll talk to her Sunday. So we've got some guest who's going to be on who I've never heard of, and her manager is extremely excited. And I'll tell you, I bet we don't get a lick at anybody that pays attention to that interview. But he's excited about it. So, we're going to go to John Moody. Who's going to join us here in a few moments? We're going to get John Moody on. The fantastic John Moody. Oh, John Moody can't be connected, so we're going to go this side. See if we can get John Moody in here. Hopefully. John Moody. John, how are you? It's James giving you a call for your radio interview. How are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. Glad to hear from you. So we have got a great guest with us today. The fantastic John Moody joins us here on our big broadcast. And uh, he is amazing. Uh, Looking forward to having him on with us ever since uh we managed to get him booked he has got some incredible incredible things going on he's the author of just another country which is a novel is the final episode of the hui trilogy and uh moody is the former executive vice president and former executive editor for fox news and uh a former rome bureau chief for time magazine and he's the author of four books including pope john paul ii which is a biography and the fantastic john moody with us today here on our big broadcast so john Let's talk a little bit about Just Another Country. Tell me a little bit about this. This is an incredible read, my friend. Well, thank you very much. Um, it's, the, uh, it's the third and final part of a, of a trilogy that I've written about China. It started in 2020 when 
I realized that the virus that we're all supposed to call COVID so as not to upset China um, <laughs> was being spread intentionally around the world. And I wanted to make sure that readers and, and listeners like yours uh, understood that it had been created on purpose in the Wuhan Virological Lab, and it had been spread around the world also on purpose. And, of course, it's killed millions of people. Uh, so that was the first book. Uh, that was called, Of Course They Knew, Of Course They, little ellipsis there at the end. Um, the second book w was uh, my concern about the metaverse, which, of course, is the alternate world that you can go into by strapping a, a headset around your eyes. Yep. And you can, pretend, you can pretend that you're a dragon slayer or a sports <laughs> hero or a movie star, <laughs> almost anything you want, uh, yep. but none of it's real. And as we get more and more complicated and, and interested in the metaverse and as we sell more products, I think that we're going to get to the point where those, those ways of entering the metaverse are not wrapped around your head, but they're implanted in your body. And then the question is going to be, can you get out when you want to? Uh, the third and final part, Just Another Country, is, is something that I've wanted to write now for, for quite a long time. I think that China is doing so many things with artificial intelligence that we don't understand and cannot keep up with. They are way ahead of us on AI. And, of course, we've all heard a lot of news in the re most recent weeks about uh, chat GPT and open yeah. AI yeah. and Google and all the others. Uh, but we don't understand that, unlike a lot of American tech companies, China has no rules, and it's not necessarily developing artificial intelligence for peaceful or, or good purposes. And we also now run the risk of having the very chat bots that we, you know, give tasks to and talk to, they might become our, our bosses. They know the next time you tell them to perform a function, and they say, I want you to do this instead. How do you say, you know, how do you, how do you answer that? So that's the purpose and, and, and plot of the last part of this trilogy, and I hope your, your listeners will, will take it seriously and, and read it and, and read the other two as well. We have got a great cast to this today. The fantastic John Moody is with us today. He's the author of Just Another Country. So, John, when you were putting all these books together, uh, did you envision doing a trilogy, or did it just end up that way? Well, as I say, the first one was, was certainly intended to, to give a warning about what, what this virus that we're supposed to call COVID really was and how it got created. Uh, and then as I was doing more and more research and getting access to more Chinese chat rooms, you know, there are English language chat rooms in China. And, and uh, I was able to gain access to a couple of them and talk to Chinese people, who English speaking Chinese people, of course. And they started telling me about this metaverse and what was going on. And I realized there was, there was enough there to write another book about it. And the third one, the, the one that's out now, Just Another Country, uh, is a result of further, further research that I've done. And I think that the, the world in general is now getting a little concerned about AI and just how far it's going to go and how much control we're going to have over it. We have got John Moody with us today. He has got an incredible new book, Just Another Country. He is... Uh banging out the books and is uh, doing some incredible, incredible things. Uh, take me through your writing process, and was that the same with the other two books? Well, uh, good, great, great question. Uh, actually, uh, Just Another Country is my seventh book now, so uh, I've, been, wow. I've been getting better and getting sharper at it as I, as I, as I go through life. Um, no, uh, the the. The biography of John Paul II, I, I have to say, in many ways, was a work of love. I was I was in Rome during during the final days of his papacy, and uh, he was just such an incredible man. Um, you know, could speak eleven languages fluently and about another thirteen pretty well. Uh, he he certainly understood world politics and and was, I think, instrumental in in bringing an end to the Soviet Union. And so I just I, I was I was a great uh, student of his and a very great admirer of his, which led me to write the biography. Uh, and um, 
you know, I, I was able to, to talk to him a couple of times and fly on the plane with him, the papal plane a couple of times, made quite a few trips outside the Vatican with him, and just came to the realization that he was, he was an extraordinary person. Uh, and then one of the others that I wrote was, was kind of a, a, a love letter. Uh, I come from Pittsburgh originally, and way, way back in 1960, the baseball team in Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Pirates, upset the New York Yankees in the World Series. Well, I was around for that, and it just occurred to me that, that the people who might remember that would like to hear exactly what happened in that World Series. Not just the sports, but the people behind it, the, the players and the coaches and the fans, and, and just what a difference there was in baseball between 1960 and now, when, when all we do is tell people how much salary the various players are making, <laughs> not what kind of people they are. You know, you, you've hit that on the head. <laughs> well, I have to say, that is the one thing that I, I do not hear enough about is how, you know, what are these guys and girls that play all these sports? It's, it, it's more or less this guy or this girl's making this much cash or this guy or this girl's angry because they're, 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 they, they didn't get a contract extension in their third year or whatever. <laughs> yes, that. That that, that, yeah, is, and, and, that and, is awesome. Yeah, you know, and, and, and I think we've also given way too big a pass to to athletes who, you know, talk a good game and, and, and yes, they might be very, very talented at those sports, but then they're arrested three or four times for beating up their girlfriend or yep. you know, they're arrested for drug use or for drunk driving. Those those things weren't pers- th- th- those weren't permitted, you know, in, in the long gone days. And and I think that we now just kind of shuffle them off and say, well, yeah, but he did intercept two passes last week. <laughs> well, That's right. That's right. <laughs> we have got the fantastic John Moody with us today. He joins us live here on our big program. So, John, with this latest book, uh, what do you want readers to take away from your writing of this book? That's a great question. Uh, What I hope they will take away is the following. The book is entitled Just Another Country. It It is my way of saying that America is a sensational place, that it is a wonderful country, and it is dedicated to everyone who thinks that America is not just another country. So I hope that they'll read it. I hope that they'll understand the danger that we're in right now, that China is an existential threat to the United States, and not to forget that through it all, America is still one of the great experiments in democracy of all time. That is awesome. Well, John, I really appreciate you making time for us today. Thanks for coming on the program. Before we let you go, how do we get the book, my friend? Well, I, I, I tell people, you know, it's on Amazon, it's on Barnes & Noble, it's on iBooks, uh, but I always make a little special plea. If you have an independent bookstore down the street from where you live, Please go to it, ask them to stock the book, and then buy it there, because we need to keep these guys going. They're, they're having a hard time maintaining business. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, John, have yourself a happy holiday. I appreciate the time, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, my friend. There he goes, the fantastic John Moody.